Brett Crozier was the captain of the USS Roosevelt, one of only two ships to go through a coronavirus outbreak while at sea. He made headlines when an email he sent to his superiors was leaked, calling out the Navy to do more to save lives as the virus spread on the ship in late March 2020. CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes sat down with Crozier, talking about his experience on that ship and his new book. So I was in the best job of the world. I was the commanding officer of the USS Theodore Roosevelt. Um, my background in the military was flying helicopters, flying fighters, driving ships. And so it was kind of culmination and a, and a great job. And I swear to this day, it's still the best job I've ever had or ever will have. Retired Navy Captain Brett Crozier says at the start of the coronavirus pandemic. We ran into the same problem the rest of the world was going through as COVID was spreading around the world and we were trying to figure out how to deal with that. So anytime someone was tested positive, we had to get them off the ship. We tried to quarantine those that had been exposed from close contact. By that time, though, everybody had been exposed. Everybody on a ship that size had been in close contact. We were doing all we could to stop the spread of, you know, the virus, which is hard to do on a ship. Crozier sent a now infamous email to his superiors that was leaked, making international headlines, calling out naval leadership for their response to the spread of the virus affecting his ship and his sailors. It was a move that cost him his job, effectively ending his decades-long service to the Navy. And I knew when I hit send on the email, that was a possibility. The CEO of the ship, that's, you are accountable for what happens on your ship. I knew that they needed help. I knew that they were in a position where they couldn't get the help they needed. Crozier was relieved of his duties and retired, leaving the ship and the job he loved with a bit of a surprise. <laughs> now he's still serving those who served our country at the Veterans Village of San Diego. And with a new book about the lessons he's learned in life, loyalty, and leadership from a maverick Navy captain with Surf When You Can. Even if you're, in my case, a conscience versus career moment, and you have to make a decision, I'm always going to err on the side of the conscience, which in my case was taking care of my sailors. Kirsten Holmes, CBS 8. Thanks, Kirsten. And there is some good news to the story. Crozier received his full retirement benefits from the military and says he was well taken care of after the ordeal. You can catch Kirsten's entire conversation with Brett Crozier, including more details about his time on the USS Roosevelt, how he got his crew to Guam for help, and more from his new book, on our website, just visit CBS8.com.